Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And uh, to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did with his. For this particular installment, there's going to be a new character which might catch you guys by surprise. And I hope you don't mind it's... I just figured it would be creative and such. I hope you guys have some level of satisfaction from this video. And if you guys bear with me, I'll introduce you to a character known as Calorie. And uh, here's the story, and if you guys bear with me and try to uh, hear along and such, I will read it, and I'll keep going. Sorry. Calorie. Number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 30th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we find ourselves in an apartment room, where we see a woman digging in her refrigerator for something. This story is particularly about her. Her name is Callie Dukes. She has light green eyes, wavy reddish orange hair, and a short bob and is dressed in casual clothes. Callie is a former supermodel who got obsessed with food, making her lose her job in the process. She finally grabs what she was looking for in the fridge. A can of chocolate cream constructed by a laboratory designed to make everything taste good. She then dumped all the cream onto a pile of chocolate chip pancakes and devours all of it in a matter of minutes. Unfortunately, there turned out to be a side effect that changed Callie's life forever. After eating the pancakes and cream, she heard her stomach growling, and the cream made Callie start inflating like a lardy balloon until she outgrew her apartment, breaking through the windows and plopping onto the streets below. Oh no, how could this even be? I just transformed myself into an overweight freak, she said to herself as she tried to figure out what to do. Noticing the Empire State Building a few blocks away, Callie decided that in order to recover her bodily stability, she had to devour the entire building. Eventually, the Star Spangler learned about what the New Yorkers were calling Calorie, along with the knowledge of her trying to eat the iconic skyscraper. After traveling there from Washington, D.C., the Star Spangler tracked her down and attempted to stop her. Calorie, you've got to stop eating that if you want to be socially accepted, she explained. But due to Callie's stomach taking control of her mind, she started fighting off the American heroine. After a time of fighting, Supernova arrived and sucked Calorie into her outer darkness. However, due to her utter, utter starvation, Calorie outgrew the outer darkness and escaped Supernova's system. While trying to complete her objective, Callie fought against Kyjericus and the Alpha Mer. Right before she finally won, Kyjericus and the Alpha Mer used their combined effort, efforts to launch her into the depths of space. Afterwards, Calorie was doomed to orbit like a blubbery planet around the star of Beta Carinae, at least temporarily. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the storyline and such. I tried my best to keep it efficient, and I'm sorry for any typos and other stuff like that. And if you want, you guys could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice and such. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine Thanksgiving and such. And until next time, in transmission.